Hey y'all, Jen Hernandez, Loan with Jen. Today we are talking about, is there more red tape on a VA loan? If you're a realtor or a buyer or a seller of a VA loan, you wanna stay tuned. Hey, we're back. Today we're talking about, is there more red tape on a VA loan? Like, share, and subscribe if you find this video useful. We release two videos a week. All right, so is there more red tape on a VA loan? The answer is not as much as there used to be. So in the past, I've done this since 1995, so I'm dating myself lots of years. In the past, before lots of efficiencies and automation that came along with technology, the answer was probably more yes, but these days, there's just a few simple things to keep in mind if you're buying or selling a home or if you're representing a buyer of VA. So number one is the appraisal. So VA requires that we order the appraisal through their portal. The VA uh, uses a list of VA appraisers. So appraisers that are veterans, they've been certified, all the same as all the other appraisers out there. They're just veterans. They want to give back to the veteran community. So it goes through that process. Now the appraisals are a little bit tighter on things like, uh, you know, deferred maintenance or things that might have the property in disrepair. So the, the appraisal might come back to subject to things like rotted wood and, uh, you know, some deferred maintenance items. So it needs, the house needs to be in good shape, good working order. So the same with an FHA loan, the, the appraisal process is really the same. The way they run comps is exactly the same. They're certified appraisers just like other appraisers are. Now the second thing on a VA, again we're talking about is there more red tape on a VA loan, then uh, is the termite inspection. So a VA loan requires a clear termite. So if there's a termite inspection done and if there's it's subject to any conducive type uh, termite issues, then those have to be clarified, rectified prior to closing. has to have a clear, clear termite. I live in Texas, so termites are a big thing. It might not be in other areas, but uh, it is here. So just make sure it's a clear termite. The third and last thing that I have to really say on, again, is there more red tape on a VA loan, is there are some fees that the veteran uh, cannot pay as a percentage. It used to be individualized fees, but now it's a percentage. So the, the lender fees and ancillary fees cannot be more than 1% of the loan amount. So that usually for a lender means if there's, um, if there's uh, more than about a loan of about 250,000, normally that means that the, the veteran will have to offset the fees somehow. Usually we don't go to the seller for that internally. We just absorb it in the pricing of the loan to the veteran. So again, fees, when we have lower loan amounts for veterans, we will uh, just absorb that internally and make sure that it meets all those requirements. So is there more red tape on a VA loan? Not really. Don't be afraid of VA. It's the greatest thing to pay back our veterans for their service. So I hope you have found this helpful. Loan with Jen, please like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you soon. Legacy Mutual Mortgage is an equal housing opportunity lender. The opinions expressed here do not reflect those of Legacy Mutual Mortgage.